Yo, hello YouTube, Tacoma Comics here, and I am back from the dead, from I don't know where I have been gone for a while, my friends. It's nothing personal, it's been business, it's been life, it's been family, it's been tough, you know, I'll tell you what, it's been a tough time out there recently, and uh, I just have not had the time or the motivation to do this, but I'm here now, I'm here with you, and I'm actually got a whole bunch of comics I really want to share with the community out there because you guys have meant so much to me. So right off the bat, let's start off by letting you know that if you are under 18, that is no good. This video is for adults only, per COPA. If you're greater than 18, you are okay. If you are exactly 18, man, I don't know what to tell you. Life is tough. <laughs> Heck yeah, I ain't live right now. Warts and all, my friend. Warts and all. That's what you're going to get from me. So I got a whole bunch of auction winnings from... Uh, and just IG sales, straight sales, Mr. Unknown Comics Guy, P Dots Comics, Game Swappers. I actually, funny thing is, I got from P Dots Comics, I got on uh, Instagram, and then I bought something on eBay. It turned out to be from the same guy, real straight up guy. Uh, you know, I recommend anybody I bought from here. If, if I didn't like their stuff, I wouldn't be putting them out there on this haul. So you're good with anybody here. Um, another guy, old uh, old comic book guy. Um, not to be confused with Mr. Unknown Comics Guy. He's a really good seller, too. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to see some eBay, some IG stuff, some YouTube auctions. You'll definitely get my contest winnings from John's Comics with Kids. And finally, I got a whole bunch of LCSs that I've been purchasing from. Now, what you're not going to see is my Wednesday new comic book day hauls because it bores the heck out of me. You all see that stuff anyway when you go to your local comic shops. Um... You know, I might get back to doing my weekly show, Pick of the Week, but that's, you know, so many people do that, and you all do it better than I do, so I don't want to bore anybody with that. But I do think I got a knack for getting out there and finding some bargains and some deals. So let's get started from about two, three weeks ago. Local Half Price Books. Let's see, nope, see, I messed up already there. Overdoing it, dude, overdoing it, right? Take it easy. You remember how to put things on, show them to the camera, talk about them. You all know what this is. This is uh, Scott Snyder, um, Batman from the New 52 run. I love this cover. I absolutely love this cover. I love this as much as Tech 880. I'm not going to argue it should be worth as much because obviously more people like that one. But to me, mm, I absolutely love this cover. So when I see this for just half off cover price i usually pick it up it ain't no big deal um <laughs> i've owned a whole bunch sold a whole bunch and keep one of my lcs at all times usually they had the four pack of new agents of atlas for eight bucks i picked it up because there's like eight new characters first appearances in this issue um it's is a really badly written story dude um it's just like throw as many people as we can create tension in the air when there is nothing there one of the guys, a sword master, he's only on the cover in number one, so I kept number two. Number three and four, I'm just going to get rid of her. Bring in my uh, classroom where I have all these comics for my kids to read. We always pick these up when we find them for two, three dollars because there was a million of them made, and I'm hoping to get enough of them to put a dent in the market. <laughs> uh, Y'all picked this up today, right? Fantastic Four versus the X-Men, the... Uh, the Chip Zdarsky one, well, this is the older one, uh, the original one, issue one. Um, I had this back in the day, going ahead and getting it now, because it's just pretty cool. Uh, so I always pick up these X-Men crossovers from the 80s, because that's just, that was my time, man. You know how it is. I'll always pick up a little pit for half price. This one I like, man. This is the first appearance of Star Wars in the Dark Horse universe, uh, can't go wrong with that for half off cover. This is Riri Williams' first uh, 
for a solo book, you know, uh, Brian Michael Bendis did a great job introducing Riri and Miles to the MCU, or to, sorry, <laughs> to the Marvel comic universe, not cinematic universe, but I'll tell you what, um, I think that uh, Eve Ewing, Salad and Ahmed have done a much better job of writing those characters, um, take nothing away from Bendis, but uh, I like those later runs on them much better than Bendis' first runs. I'm collecting what ifs once in a while, uh, just because the show's coming out and they're just kind of really cool. Um, and this is neat. It's like not the Mohawk, but it's 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 this short punkish hair, so it's like kind of post issue one seventy seven, one seventy eight of the X Men. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Let's see. I don't even think I'm gonna get the rest of those on. Dang, I need to get a bigger holder. I love this Finch cover. He's gonna be at uh, Emerald City Comic Con, so. I think, I'm pretty sure I already got a copy of this, but again, dollar fifty. I'll pick that up and uh, go get that signed. Beautiful, and this just, yeah, this is great. This is right before Jenny Frizen started doing her amazing run um, on alternate covers, but uh, this is great. And this isn't even an alternate cover. This is the A cover, so really cool. A versus X Men. Don't sleep on this. If 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 you can get this for two or three dollars, just because. Uh, it's a cool cover. There's tons of variants. Um, they're out there cheap. It's the second appearance of Sam Alexander, the third Nova. Um, and he's he or Richard Ryder will make an appearance at some point. Um, Age of Ultron book 10. This is the A cover. Um, this is the first appearance of Angela in the Marvel Universe. I've been collecting the all new, all different Avengers run just because Alex Ross did the covers and because it centered on Miss Marvel and Sam Alexander Miles and why they left the Avengers um, and formed the champions. Uh, and I didn't have the annuals to pick that up. This is the first appearance of Spider UK, I believe. Yeah, Spider UK. Uh, all the books in this run are minor um, keys. Obviously, number four is the big key, um, being that that is the first appearance of Silk. But these are all minor keys, and so, again, for half-off cover, I'll pick those up. The rest of that day, at half price, showed up the uh, original Renew Your Vows, number one. thought that was a really clean copy with a white cover, so I went for it. Um, I got a few of these. I like this. I like Amadeus Cho, uh, and this is, you know, his first solo comic, and there's some minor other appearance in there, but nobody cares about that. Uh, <laughs> So, in college, we used to rent the VHS, um, remember video stores, of the Toxic Avenger. And there's this one one scene that I just love in the freaking Toxic Avenger, where the um, girl's on roller skates with, like, short satin shorts and blowing bubble gum and stuff. And somebody brings her down this dark alley, and the Toxic Avenger's there. And she goes to the guy, that's not David Bowie. You said you were going to take me to see David Bowie. And I know, that's, that's the joke. Um, but it's one of those things I just remember from my college days 25 years ago and always makes me crack up. Uh, got this for a pretty penny. It's a little little dingy, but no spine ticks. First appearance of The Outsiders. Just pretty happy with that. And then this is a 3D Transformers from Blackthorn Publishing. So came out in 87. The, the Transformers through Marvel came out in 84. So it's not like the first Transformers. It's just some other company that got the rights from Hasbro to make a 3D comic. And I mean... It is 3D. The whole thing is that that old school red and blue on newsprint, like 3D. It's it's really watch your eyes, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's that's what I got there from half price a couple of weeks ago. Now you have to understand, man. The guy who works at the half price in Tacoma, he's off Sunday and Monday, so between Tuesday and Saturday, he's always putting out comics and stuff. I am there, like. I don't know, at least two, three days a week because he always puts the new stuff right in front, which I think is cool of him. That way I don't have to look through like tons of stuff to find out what's new. Um, so when I say a few weeks ago, that means like four or five days over um, a week's period a few weeks back. Got this next lot. Um, these are kind of the non-keys from that, that Spawn stuff that I had and I sold uh, on Strictly Comics a couple auction Sunday night a couple uh, Sundays ago. Um, I went back and I was kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel, but got good deals on these. By the way, this is a sick cover. Y'all got to just respect that McFarlane cover. Um, 
a lot of the modern day venoms, venom, venoms, venoms, did I tell you this is brought to you by Lagunitas and Crux Fermentation. Let's say venom, boys and girls. Uh, I don't think they got anything on some of this early spawn artwork. So there's four, there's six, there's seven, there's the homage to himself, number eight. Ocho, 26, 29, 36, very cool, 37, and 47. So, I'm not a big Spawn fan, I love some of these covers, I might keep a few of them, but uh, yeah, most of these are going to go on to somebody else's home on an auction someday, I could just get them for cheap, appreciate the hunt. And, you know, it's something that needs to be said. Like, I just like the hunt. It's not about necessarily um, always getting the books that you want. And it's not always about flipping. It's just about finding those cool books for a cheap price. Uh, right here, Mr. Unknown Comics Guy had an auction, had a lot on uh, Strictly Comics Auction. And this was in it. G.I. Joe 26. One was in it as well, and that is one of my grails to get that book. And I saw it lumped together with like six or seven other beautiful G.I. Joes, um, all like early keys. And I was like, All right, I'm bidding on this lot, I'm gonna get this lot. And me and Roman, shout out to Roman Curtis, we fought on this lot for a bit, and, and finally I, I, I outbid him. Um, I think he was just being kind too. He, 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 he pulled it, pulled back a little bit, let go of the trigger. Um, the 21, and I'm not, you know, Unknown Comics guy was straight up. The 21 was not in the best condition. It's really hard to find that book unticked because um, it's just such a stark, dark green cover. Um, but I, I, it came in exactly the condition it was described. I want to make sure, you, you know, I'm not like smashing down on him. But uh, I really want to get a good copy of that. So. I bundled those G.I. Joes with a bunch of other G.I. Joes I had and a whole bunch of G.I. Joes I got really cheap and I sold those off. Um, a man, Discovery Bay, big G.I. Joe fan, so I was happy to let him get those books for what I figured was a pretty fair price and he got a whole stack of books and it wasn't enough to fill a, a small box, so I threw in a whole bunch of extras. But I kept this one. This is the first appearance of like all the major players um, and it is just beautiful beautiful condition so i'm going to keep this one i'm going to keep my 26 and 27 because i love the story in 26 and 27 and i'm going to grab myself when i get the money i'm going to grab myself a really nice 21 um just because that's that's what i want you know and i i'm, I'm wanting it in good condition i often buy stuff just because my eyes are bigger than my brain and i'm like cool let me get that but you know i didn't want a ticked copy um and again that's that's what it was advertised as so i knew what i was getting but I really want to get a, a better copy on that. So definitely going to wait. Um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I got this from Unknown Comics guy. I'm glad uh, Discovery Bay got what he got from me. So everybody's happy all around, you know. Just make each other happy in the community. I and mean, you see a theme in here, man. It's about community and about what YouTube can, can do. And, you know, these strangers meeting on the internet and sharing a love of stuff. Um, so I went to uh, Lilypad Antiques where I got the spawns. Uh, this is a, a different time, and the guy had not restocked that weekend. This is a great little LCS in, uh, in Tacoma. It's an antique shop, actually. But I just like this cover for this Marvel Age Annual. Um, I'm not going to take it out, but the back of this has, like, the same concept, but drawn in, like, a 1960s style. It's really cool. But then I came across this for, like, 2 or $3. And this is the first appearance of Rogue in Continuity. I guess her appearance in the Avengers Annual is out of continuity or, or something like that. Um, and I like this. I've got the fall special. Obviously, I've got the uh, the winter special for Squirrel Girl. Um, and I think I've even got like either the spring or summer special. So that would be kind of cool to just get that set, um, one for each season. And to have this like actually be um, what it is is pretty darn cool, I think. So I'm like, super excited to have... Um, that, that second kind of first rogue appearance or to pair it up with the other first rogue appearance. Uh, and it might 
go up in value because I hear that Rogue will appear in Captain Marvel 2. Rumor, rumor, rumor. Spec, spec, spec. Mm -hmm. Didn't buy it to get rich, but, you know, you never know. Um, Destiny City Comics used to be owned by a guy named Mike. It is not owned by a guy named Mike. It is owned by a professional wrestler, or a retired professional wrestler, I suppose, um, and whose name I'm sad to say I don't know his name. But, uh, sorry, I'm just pulling some paper off here. Uh, guy is really cool, and I figured I'd check this shop out, see how it's changed. And they had like a half price off um, vintage comic sale. He's trying to clear out back stock and get this store set kind of the way he wants it to be, uh, which is really cool. You know, I totally dig that. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at the iPad here, trying, no, wrong way, trying to center that, so, actually shouldn't start with that one, because it's knocking everything over, he had this, and I'm not a big fan of this comic, but 50% off, I know it's a, a big comic people like, so I'm like, alright, I'll, I'll buy it, and, uh, so I got that for $4, I thought it was pretty cool, it's a newsstand, which apparently, I guess, was more popular because the newsstand is um, not worth as much as, you know, any of the regular printings from um, from direct editions. He had this Lumberjanes, man. I love Lumberjanes. You all know that. I'm pretty sure I don't have this cover. And Noel Stevenson's going to be at Emerald City. So I want to get her sig on that. I, man, this is my favorite character, Ripley. Because she's just freaking out of control. Like, she's the spaz who will come in covered in mud all the time. And, like... You know, just as the wackiest stuff, and I, I totally dig that about Ripley. Totally my favorite character. Um, really psyched to get this variant. So those are both half off, like, you know, whatever they were. That that was eight, and I don't know what that was anymore. Um, and then this has been there, and I've been looking at this for a while. So you all know I'm down with Stephanie Hans big time. This is a Stephanie Hans cover. Um, one of the few that she's done on a hardcover that she hasn't done on a, a comic. Uh, this is a Ghost in the Shell Global Neural Network. I don't know anything about Ghost in the Shell. I know that I love this cover, but I was not about to drop $30 for this. So I asked the guy if he'd give it, you know, include this in the half price sale for $15. And he's like, no, nah, I could do 10 up and, and give it to you for, for $20. And, and I looked at him and, you know, I, I wasn't trying to play games. I was just like, no, thank you. So I'll put that back. Um, I asked him if he had any top loaders. And he brought out a whole bunch of used top loaders. Like, they weren't new in a, in a set or anything. Um, but they were clear and clean and, and, and not broken. And he gave them to me for 50 cents each. And I was like, holy cow, that was really awesome. Because those things will cost you 2 3 $4. I'm like, dang, I'm going to go for that. So, yeah, I got the uh, I got the top loaders. And then he thought about it and he threw this in for 15 So I was like, yes. So I'm definitely going to shout out Destiny City Comics. Um, the new owner, man, really great guy. And just take a look at that, man. There's something about Hans, a lot of our artwork, especially our earlier stuff, there's usually like this big forefront stuff and then something that at first you don't see and then you realize the detail that she does with digital paint. Um, it's just exquisite. It's just exquisite. I just love that, man. So yeah, super happy there. Super happy I'm doing this because I gotta get this stuff sorted. Holy cow, I, I haven't been putting these comics away because I've been wanting to do a whole video for the first time in forever. Speaking about the first time forever, John's Comics with Kids held a contest about 12 years ago and I won. And I won the Indie Pack. Shout out to John's Comics with Kids. Dude, that man is at one thousand freaking subs and well earned you know i'm at like 470 480 and i earned them all but i have not earned a thousand subs i don't put out a weekly show i don't get out there like john does john is a maniac on the shows and and so rightfully so man he, he's earned his place so there you go a little preacher action i told him i liked indie books i love this show um, and I've only ever read the first issue. I have not read, uh, how am I getting this stupid thing to work on camera? I don't know how cameras work. Clearly, I do not know how cameras work. It's close enough. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to read that. Garth Ennis, Steve Dillon, um, rest in peace, Steve Dillon. 
Uh, super excited to actually get a trade and read that. And it looks like a decent sized trade. The rest of the comics he gave me were a nice mixed bag. Stuff I have read, stuff I have not read. Got like my umpteenth copy of Wildcats 2, the first hollow foil cover. Uh, got a couple goons in there, which is really cool. I've got a massive goon omnibus, so I'm excited by that. There's uh, number one of like the most recent series that he did, so that is really, really cool. I'm excited for that. This is what I'm told. Dude, John, cheers, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. I have like four different covers to number one now. I got an Emerald City Comic Con um, exclusive, I think. Uh, it's up there on the wall behind me. And I got two more copies. I did not have this one. Um, there's Gail just sitting there. <laughs> I love this, man. Abraham Slam, Walkie Talkie, Colonel Weird, Madam Dragonfly, Barbalian. This is this is the shit, man. Oh, did I say? Nope. Over 18. I can say shit, 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 shit. Thanks, John. Really like that. Oblivion Song. I never read this, man. I've had so many number ones come across my uh, table. I'm going to give that a read. This one. I don't know. First of all, it's signed. Shout out to Sign Comics. Um, I don't know anything about it other than I know it's supposed to be a good, good, uh, comic and I'm excited to, to read that. Then a little Savage Dragon, Dragon, Enter She Dragon. And I think one of those spawns I showed you earlier was in this winnings, but, uh, I just moved over the spawn because I got my OCD kicking in when I see like 12 spawns here and one spawn there. Let's check out, uh, talking about Miss Stephanie Hans. A little venomized, uh, Psylocke. Um, love that cover. This is from, what comic is this from? Oh, oops, you see a sneak peek of the next thing. This was, uh, gotta open up more. That's right, this was, um, Venomized number one, so it was a Venomized cover on Venomized number one, uh, which is really darn cool. Now I got to get it back in the top loader without the top of the comic getting caught inside the top loader. There we go. Beautiful job. Beautiful comic. Stephanie Hahn, everybody. Oh, yeah. Uh, Game Swappers had a lot up, so I caught him on Strictly Comics. I was with him two Sundays ago, and then this was either Strictly or somebody else's auction. I can't remember. Um, <laughs> I can't be the only one who ever does this, right? But I bid on the wrong thing. I thought this was a 41-42 pair. My eyesight ain't so good. And I had been looking at these on eBay that day, which is why I wanted it so bad. Um, and so I saw the 42... And I just, without really looking, I assumed it was a 41-42 pair I was bidding. So I wasn't really watching the pictures. Um, super psyched to get this, though. Uh, I've got already got a 137, and that's signed by Claremont. And I'm probably going to put that up for auction or in a lot to sell. I'll get this signed. Claremont's coming back to Emerald City Comic Con. So, and this is a much better condition than the one I had. So shout out to Game Swappers. Thank you very much. I'm psyched to get this. I'll get this sign. Um, and then this I did not have. Uh, check out my Instagram for a funny post. There's a, a, a one panel in here where Wolverine has like, he goes, I can use this secret optic like scanner in my belt to open the elevator. They're breaking into the Baxter building. He literally looks like he's pissing on the elevator. I kid you not. I don't want to take it out of the, the, the top loader, but I swear this exactly what it looks like is going on so super psyched to add those to my x-men keys i'm almost done with the claremont run i got about 18 to go let's see got some ebay and some more i'll just put a bunch of comics up here i think this is the stuff i got from p dots comics um on both ebay and uh and then i got some stuff in ig but uh i picked that up couple of copies of that. I got one copy of uh, the first printing. This says fourth printing, actually. I don't know if technically that's fourth printing or what, but I thought that was pretty darn cool. Um, you know, Bendis, Sicken, and Spencer, Crane, LaRocca, Pacelli. Uh, it's a nice lineup, and 
It's a great character, so we'll definitely uh, be holding on to that. Very psyched. Stephanie Hans again. And this is what I'm talking about, man. Like, from afar, it just looks like this nice painting, but when you get up and see the detail that she does on Luke's face there. Um, this is Star Wars number one, Rebel Base Comics and Toys variant. Um, so store exclusive variant. Uh, definitely very cool. And then from somebody else on the bay, I got myself two more copies of Miss Lunella Lafayette's uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Just love that cover. Absolutely love that cover. I don't know who I got this from, but yeah, Miss Marvel 1, this this is a... I don't know if this is an incentive variant. This is Jamie McKelvey, the costume variant. Love this one too. It's my second copy. I don't know if you can see, but right up there is the first copy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I got myself another one of those, trying to build up my Miss Marvel collection again. Somebody on IG who I didn't know before called the old comic book guy, I grabbed this for $10, and I'm like, how much is shipping? He goes, oh no, no shipping charge. So I mean, he didn't do media mail, media mail would have been like two or three, he did like regular first class, like $5. So, you know, it's not the, the best condition, and you know, he, he advertised it as, as just being mid condition, but it's not bad at all. It's got like one tick there. Um, I'll take that first Monica Rambeau uh, as Captain Marvel. Love that cover. I had one, um, got rid of it. Now I'm gonna keep this one with my other Spider-Man keys. Super excited there. Another trip to half price about a week and a half ago. Just picking up some uh, X-23s I didn't have. Seen this Wonder Woman sitting there, this art germ Wonder Woman. Uh, Rebirth number one, uh, B cover. It's just got a tiny bit of red there. And so I was like, eh. But then you know what? I thought, F it, I'm going to pick that up anyway. I already have it. I already have this Frank show, but those are nice. And those will go with those earlier Wonder Woman I showed you and probably end up in a lot somewhere. Um, X23, Target X. Yeah, well... It just it just stopped me in my tracks when I thought about that. She does not look like an adult there. <laughs> so I wanted to collect all the Target X, but I want to kind of think about what I'm doing too. This is a first something I picked up really cheap. This is another. Now this is a great X-23. <coughs> great Phil Noto cover. I don't know what the heck he's wearing there. It's like a almost a soccer ball jersey. <laughs> go Ben, go. All right, Exile State Comics, Justin, hooking me up on the auctions. Again, he was on Strictly Comics, and I have wanted this one forever. eBay prices were just killer on this, killer uh, killer high. This is a 1 in 25. Ultimates 2, number 3, Stephanie Hans, of course. Um, I just love these glass shatters. There's one right up there that I keep thinking is like a tick or like a dark spot. You know, Captain Marvel. This is America Chavez. Um, just very, very cool cover. Really well done. Um, one of the best America Chavez's that I've seen. Love this. There's the SH for Stephanie down there. He paired this up with this beautiful Fuji's homage here uh, from the hip hop covers. Look at that. Ultimates, the solution. Mike Deodato. And uh, who's the, the artist on the cover? It is Deodato. Jason Keith, right, written by Al Ewing. That's just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And it's, again, the same two from the last one, plus Black Panther. Love that. And then threw in this one here, little uh, A versus X, and I talked about this. This is, if this is, and I think by the barcode, this is just a variant. This is the fourth variant, number one. Um, this is just a second appearance of Sam Nova again, so super psyched. Hey man, if you're still watching this video, you're a freaking amazing human being. You make me feel good like this is not a waste of my time, and I just make me happy to be here, because, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going on for a while, and hopefully somebody else is with me. So these are the books I got from PDOT's Comics on Instagram. Um, shout out PDOT's Comics, these were $10 each, and whatever the shipping was. So this is the second uh, printing. I thought that was kind of cool. I like the colors on that of Batman Who Laughs. Um, the first appearance of Batman Who Laughs. 
the second first appearance, I think some people would argue, uh, not technically their first appearance, but I'm not going to sit there and argue that right now. Dark Maul, Son of Dathomir. Uh, always wanted this book. Super excited to get it for a good price. Beautiful condition. Beautiful condition. And I thought I had this one, and I can't find it, so I wanted to, to grab another one with Michael Oming, and I don't know the rest of these um, artists and colorists and inkers. Uh, Stormbreaker, Saga of Beta Ray Bill. Just a really cool comic to have. Really nice. Like having those three. Almost done here, my friends. Almost done. When soon? This is stretching it to call it an LCS, but uh, they're really close to where I live, so I'll, I'll shout them out and call them an LCS. Uh, got Knights of the Republic for two dollars or two ninety nine. No, it's not number nine, the one that people are freaking out about, but it's the first one, which is still a, a really decent comic to have. Um, Knights of the Republic is big. People think that might be the next uh, next TV show to come out after Mandalorian. And um, Bob Iger said, yo, we're going TV shows, not movies for the near future with um, with our friend Star Wars. So really nice comic to have. Uh, just a beautiful copy of this. I love Wolverine covers on X-Men. This was my jam back in the day. 234, just a brood storyline, but just beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, Mark Silvestri. I think somebody else did the coloring. I think he just did the inking, but I'm not sure. Really nice. Picked up some, and these were all a dollar. These The, the X-Men book and all these Alpha Flights books. So picked up this Marvel 25th. Uh, picked up the first new Vindicator. Picked up the first Talisman. This character's been around, but she was not Talisman before. She was just a character. And then just this great Jim Lee cover. When I say Jim Lee, of course, I mean this great John Byrne cover. Uh, always loved that cover. And this is probably in better condition than the ones I have. So super psyched to get that too. Alpha Flight number three. And that's Comics of the Gathering, which is down in Spanaway, which is not quite local, but close enough that we're not going to freaking argue as we come to today's haul from Half Price Books. Now, I am a horrible father because I let my kid read. <laughs> I hate Fairyland. So, first of all, shout out Lone Wolf and Cub. This is a little Lone Wolf and Cub homage, which I think is pretty darn cool. Um... But yeah, he's been reading it. He likes it. I don't mind. I'm joking. You know, he can read it. I tell you what, you know, if you tell your kids not to read something, and I'm not talking about a four-year-old. I'm talking about a 12, 13-year-old. They're going to find a way to read it. You know they are. You know you did. So much better to, you know, approach these things with them, talk to them about it. Why do you find that amusing? Let's laugh at the jokes together. Do you understand that? You know, create that bond. Don't try to, like, censor your kids. And You know, in extreme cases, I get it, but that's going to backfire usually. So I got him 12. I got him 14. He's read the first two trades, which got him, like, 1 through 5 and 6 through 10. So I need to go find 11, I think, was at half price. And I couldn't find a 13, so I got him 12 and 14. The rest of these spawn are not in the best condition, but... They were super cheap, so I got the Spawn Bible again. Uh, people really liked that at the auction. I love this cover, man. Look at that. I don't know if that's Capullo or who. Spawn 132. This is a little bit before they started getting rare. Um, like low print runs, the 140s and 150s. Uh, who does that cover? Pencils, inks, letter. So, wow, there's like four people inking. A letterer, colorist. Oh, Greg Capullo cover. There you go. That's just really gorgeous right there. Classic Capullo. A uh, little Blood Feud number one. I got to get that sticker off. That'll be tomorrow's job. Uh, number 16, just an early spawn with another great cover. And is that the first Capullo? I can't remember. Um, 52. 33. The ones that are in um, the ones that are in bags and boards were pretty decent condition. The ones that are free floating and were fifty cents, those are not as good. Twenty five. Got a Young Avengers first time. Uh, Kate Bishop is referred to as Hawkeye or something. Uh, 
kind of ticked up. I already have one, but uh, you know, we're we're obsessive, right? Compulsive. This is what we do. So I'll get that sticker off tomorrow. Uh, last round, last shot, last pile. Thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate it. Probably look at this video later and delete it because <laughs> I'm embarrassed at how long I'm taking to go through these books. Some people just put the books there and they go through them and they don't talk. And you know me, I can't not talk. Always love picking up this because uh, I only got one copy of number one. <laughs> I ain't getting any more of those. So uh, got a couple Prophet and Shadowhawks first appearances. Got a Wildcats one that pairs nicely with the two that John got me. Um, this is a nice uh, minor key. I can't remember what it was. And then I paid full price for this, but I have wanted this for a while. The Uncanny X-Men and the new Teen Titans. Dun, dun, dun. I thought that was super, super cool. Nice way to end the video. Nice way to end the haul. Hey, I only made it through one beer. Hmm. So thanks for sticking with me. Drop me some comments, man. I haven't done this in a long while. Super psyched to do it. Super psyched to end it because it's a long video. Take care.